Good morning. How do we go on when we feel, we may feel abandoned by God's church? Let's look today at Jeremiah 12, verses 7 to 9. I have forsaken my house, I have left my heritage, I have given the dearly beloved of my soul into the hand of her enemies. My heritage is to me like a lion in the forest, it cries out against me, therefore I have hated it. My heritage is to me like a speckled vulture, the vultures all around are against her. Come, assemble all the beasts of the field, bring them to devour. Jeremiah feels abandoned by God's people. He stood for the truth, he, he answered God's call, he delivered his truth faithfully. But most people remain silent. Kind of like they can all see the building is burning down, but they're just standing there, slack-jawed, not doing anything. How could it be? How could these people hear these messages of warning and revival and just ignore them? Jeremiah feels very alone. How can they stand by while error and wickedness prevail? It just boggles the mind. Where are the men of faith? Where are the women of prayer? Where are the Caleb's, the Joshua's? Where are those people? Where are the faithful to strengthen the hands of those who are doing the work and trying to be right? Jeremiah feels like someone who's surrounded by attacking animals. He's trying to do them good, but when, why don't they turn? Why don't they repent? Why don't they relent? Return to Jesus. When will they accept his efforts and, and turn to faithfulness and appreciate his faithfulness? Well, don't plan on it happening anytime soon. You can be an absolutely faithful worker for the Lord, working hard, and the devils are going to be working. You will be slandered. You'll be treated poorly. You'll be misunderstood. You'll be misinterpreted and just expect it to be worse rather than better, even among those that you think are the people of God. And sometimes even God's servants, well-meaning, godly, converted, will misunderstand, and there will be a lot of friction and challenge. And we've read the history here. You've read the book of Jeremiah already, I'm sure. You already kind of know uh, there's not a wonderful days of glory and acceptance ahead for Jeremiah. There are more intense times and even more intense persecutions coming up. And so Jeremiah's got a long track ahead, and it's going to be even harder going, even harder slogging. But he's got to be faithful. And then there's you and I. What about us? We need to hang in there. We need to be faithful to God. We need to be like Jeremiah. If I could say something to Jeremiah, I'd say, hang on, man. You don't know what's coming, but hang on. The Lord will be with you. Don't hold your breath waiting for people to jump out and, and support you. Some of Somebody might. But you know what? Just whatever you do, do hang on tight and be faithful to the Lord. He's with you. He knows you were dust. He knows you're like, you know, green grass one day that wilts the next. He knows our lives are short. But we need to be faithful in the missions that he assigns us right now. He'll take care of us. But remember, the, we often anticipate human help that it will come much more quickly than it usually does, just the way it is. And you know what? God is building something. God is, is building your character and mine. So if we have some times of being misunderstood and treated with intensity and, and uh, se severity, hold on. Remember, Jesus was nailed to the cross for you and I. They didn't treat him too well. They actually nailed him down. And what was his reaction at that time? He didn't leap down and start throwing thunderbolts. Father, forgive them. They, they, don't, they don't grasp, begin to grasp what they're truly doing. We need to let him give us that kind of love and affection for others. I'll, I'll confess, I, I'm doubtful I have that kind of affection yet. But may the Lord give it to me and, and help me so that we can do his will no matter how severe the, the incoming is against us. So, you know, just build it in. Just expect it. It's part of the plan. You won't get relief as quickly as you expect. But trust in God. He'll get us through. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, help us to, to hang on tight. Help us to be faithful. Help us to be uh, right exactly in that space where you want us, Lord, serving you, being faithful in delivering your message, faithful in loving others. Sometimes it's easy to give the message and hard to love others. Lord, please help us. Show us the way. Help us to be uh, exactly where you'd have us to be in your service. And we ask for it in Jesus' name. Amen. We go on by receiving strength from God. God be with you today. Hopefully you don't have anything quite like this today. But expect it along the way if you're going to be a servant of Jesus. Have a wonderful day.